So welcome back to our newest interview series on the Queen Sports Network, Inside the Lions Den. I am Maya Forbes here with the seniors on the women's volleyball team. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> so can you guys introduce yourselves and um, tell me where you're from? Um, I'll go first. <laughs> um, I'm Casey Tarvin. Um, I'm from Austin, Texas, but currently is still in Charlotte for the semester. Um, I'm Gabby Montgomery, and I am from Davidson, North Carolina, and that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm Logan Witt. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm also currently living in Charlotte. I'm Olivia Williamson. I'm from Boone, North Carolina, and I'm currently living in Boone, but sometimes I get to go to Charlotte and see my friends. I'm Chanel Turner, and I'm from Fort Mill, South Carolina, um, but I'm also in Charlotte right now. I'm JC Jones, and I'm from Littleton, Colorado, but I'm also in Charlotte. Okay. So tell me a little bit about how this pandemic affected you guys since this is your senior year. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, well, I guess we had our own meeting whenever the news was kind of bro broken to us. Um, and it was really hard because we were all in our hometowns and we all just really wanted to come back to Charlotte. Um, so it was a really big transition because obviously all of us or majority of us are in North Carolina um, to come back here just to like be around. Sorry. <laughs> just to be around. Um, like our friends during like the pandemic, which is just a really hard and tough decision, um, knowing that we weren't gonna have our sport um, and that we were the only ones in the sack that weren't gonna have the sport. Um, that was really, really, really um, difficult to process. And I guess we're still kind of processing the fact that we're not playing while other people are. Um, and anybody else are definitely willing to take your turn. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was definitely just hard because we all, were, you know, we're seniors and we've been together for four years and it's just difficult knowing that you are all going to be together for your senior year, which is what you look forward to almost all of, all of college. So I know that was really hard on all of us. Anyone else? <laughs> no? Okay. Um, so knowing that volleyball is a very big, well, let me, let me start over. Knowing that volleyball is a major team sport, how was it um, trying to stay active with all the restrictions that were going on and how were you all able to handle staying active on your own and back where you're from and separated from the team? Um, I can take this one. So, <laughs> um, so basically, it was pretty difficult to stay in the exact same shape just because playing volleyball is different than like just working out. Like it's a different type of um, shape that you're in, but just a lot of like conditioning, like running our sprints um, and then also like a lot of weightlifting. Um, that was just a couple things we could do on our own. And then thankfully we've gotten the opportunity since a lot of us are here to still be able to play a little bit with each other. So we'll go play like beach volleyball, which is outside. So it kind of helps like minimize risk, but also we'll try and do indoor every once in a while. Um, but it's definitely a lot harder to do that and stay in that like tip top shape that we normally are in. So it's been a challenge, but we've made it work, I think. Yeah, I think too, um, Coach Long has done a really good job at facilitating team meetings weekly to keep on top of the like, the teamwork and just getting like being able to interact with everybody, even though um, a good portion of our team is far away. Mm -hmm. So going off of that, um, besides the team meetings with the coach, what type of things were you guys doing to try and stay connected? Um, this is kind of facilitated with Coach Long, but we have been doing um, weekly check-ins with like one of other teammates. And just kind of like seeing how we're doing with the workouts, how school's going, and just like talking to each other and um, staying connected. So that's been really helpful. That's good. We also have like weekly, like, not, I don't want to say assignments, but essentially it's kind of an assignment. Like we watch like the same TED Talk and then we'll come together and talk about it. Um, 
So connecting on that level too. So, so now that you got some of you are back in Charlotte and or the plan is for everyone to come back in Charlotte very soon. What types of things are you guys doing to prepare yourself for first game and start of your season? Um, one of our last or recent meetings, um, we started to evaluate what other goals we can set for ourselves and for our team. Um, that was on an individual and a team level. Uh, just kind of redirecting what we can now approach and um, what we can now do to be successful and have a successful season and make it meaningful, even though it's not um, NCAA driven. Um, so we've done a lot of reevaluating and um, I think that's been very valuable to our team, kind of knowing like what we're headed towards and how we can stay motivated um, to like work hard. And going off of that a little bit, we talked how our goals are kind of going to evolve as we transition from being at home to coming back and being all together um, and how we're going to use right now to really get better, get stronger. And then when we get back, really add in that competition piece and that motivation to really win every game that we can. Okay. Um, just one additional thing to that is that we've also been doing a lot of like film work um, and like evaluating our like last season and just um, other teams in our conference. So that's helped us a lot. And then we also have been like looking at like our mentality when we play um, by watching like different TED talks and just doing some like self-reflection so that we know how to motivate ourselves when season comes. And like, for example, our last one was about um, self-confidence. So just ways that we can work on our self-confidence as an athlete. Okay, so how do you all think the team will handle coming together after being separated for so long? Honestly, like we've never been apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's kind of hard right now. But how do you well, think well we do have some, well, we have four freshmen that are here. So we have been able to incorporate them into a little bit of like our style of play. So I think that's been really good getting them on board so that because we have four freshmen that are out um, in different states so hopefully by having these four we can help transition these other four just to get them like incorporated with us but I think a lot of like the playing and the workouts together have definitely helped us a lot. Okay. Um, so you did mention that you were creating goals personally and for the team so can you tell me a little about a little bit about some of the goals you have for this season? Any personal or your team goals? Um, so one of the team goals that we have really like put our sights to is we are only granted 10 games, um, guaranteed 10 games, and then an extra three for our SAC championship, um, our SAC tournament. Uh, that is 13 games total. And it's not as much as we've had before, mm -hmm. but that's what we get. And as seniors, I know like, we have that leadership and we have that um, like drive to kind of get people on board with us. But our goal is to win 13. Like if we're going to be here, we're going to win 13. We're going to win them all. We're going to definitely put our sights to that. Um, it's something that we think that as a program, I will, we're going to take the opportunities that we do have and, and no Queens volleyball team has gone undefeated. Um, so we're trying to like, what, what is it you guys like a, I don't know, like be different and kind of make our mark in the way that we can. And pandemic or not, that's one thing that we know that we can like kind of create a legacy and, and create something that we're like our team will last throughout Queen's history. So I only have one last question for you guys. Um, is kind of a difficult question, but if you were to describe your team in one word, what would it be and why? <laughs> I know it's a really hard question. I don't know if this is the right word to use, but I just like top top of my head, I would say like driven. 
mm-hmm. just because I've literally never met like more hardworking people in my life. Like, and we collectively like day in, day out, even if it's just school or volleyball, like I don't have to ever doubt like that someone's not there to like work hard or be the best they can be for each other. So. <laughs> Do you guys have any more answers? Or no? You're good with German? I, I had a similar word. I had um, passionate. Okay. So anything that we're doing, whether that be volleyball or school, you can count on every single one of us to be passionate about it. Mm. Um, if we're not passionate about it, we're probably not doing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's the word that I would think would describe us. Okay. Well, thank you guys for sitting down with me today and getting this series started for Queens. Um, I wish you luck in your season, and it was nice talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.